Here's an update on my 25 year old plus turpentine rootstock. I just want to start off by saying, yes, this is a turpentine rootstock that's pretty old, but I really don't recommend turpentine for you guys. Uh, struggled keeping this tree alive for like, you know, over a decade. Uh, it's finally beginning to look somewhat decent and I have some theories on it. I think I mentioned in the past that I believe there's some root grafting that is occurring between my rootstock you see the huge one in the back and the turpentine right in the front that's kind of helping it you know achieve a bit more vigor at the same time i haven't let it held any fruits in, in probably at least let's see i think that i mentioned it's been uh, three or three or four years uh, that i've let it held any kind of fruitlets but uh yeah this so far so this is super julie right here uh these all look like nubbins so Oh, this one looks like it might be a full size fruit right here. But this is an oven. This is an oven. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can see it's a bit more brighter now since it was under the canopy of one of my autophagy root stocks. Uh, now it's kind of uh, much more open. So uh, we'll see what happens. You know? Here's an Angie. Nice size Angie right here. And uh, some of the grass has funny. Uh, some of the grass is looking well. This is Dupree Saigon. Uh, Dolores right here that's flushing. And uh, this right here is a gram. Nice flushes on this gram right here. Let's see, oh, we got, uh, got some grass that has taken. This right here is a Zeta. And this right here is a uh, PPK. So, Funny, it was a uh, Florida scion word that took about two months to push. So, <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully, this is a good uh, push and it takes. Here is the uh, little gem. I mean, I could have handled this in a different way in terms of the bracing, but <laughs> this is what I got on it so far. Uh, look at these. Uh, just because there's so many in these clusters, I doubt that they'll get pretty big. Uh, but, you know, it'll be a good size. It'll be just like a snack size and then I at least could uh, uh, share this, you know. Just, so this is a little gem. Uh, the, green, the green food itself wasn't too bad either. Uh, some of it dropped and I just kind of tasted it to see how it was. The skin. You could smell the terpenes, right? But there was no bitterness or anything, and no odd flavors in the skin or anything like that. So that was that was a good thing, you know. So uh, decent green mango. So a little gem, super loaded. Okay. Let's see what else I got? I'm trying to cover some of the grass I made. Oh, and this is again another variety, uh, Taiwanese variety, it's a rootstock, used as a rootstock in Taiwan, caught two, to you. This right here is Super Alfonso, and hopefully it does take off or so, because my Super Alfonso plant has not really grown that well, so... Okay, what else I got here? This is a Zero 4017. Uh, it bloomed, but none of the blooms set any fruit, so I thought it was, I thought it was gonna set fruit, I was gonna just let it hold. Okay. Well, I think that's it. That's it for an update for now. Alright, uh, thanks everyone.